What is poppin' here, yeah, boy? But before we get started, I thank the Heavenly Father for the opportunity to be able to see you guys. Hope everything is well with you and your family. Hope everything is going well with you and your life. And that you're good mentally, in the heart, spiritually, and for the soul. And that you're keeping it pushing, you're pushing it right. See, all right? Keep doing the best you can. We all can't make it. We all can't do it. But you gotta keep pushing, baby. Keep pushing, keep pushing. And keep it heavenly, all right? All right, so it's good to see y'all. It's good to be seen. I gotta help and do this because I got bursitis of the elbow. Again, I get this occasionally. I don't know why. Look at the elbow. Look at the elbow. Bursitis juice. Yeah, so hopefully I can get in the doctor's office tomorrow before I go to work. I can't take no days off from work, y'all. You know what I mean? Get me in, so I'm gonna try to take care of it so it doesn't, you know, nothing happen to it. So as long as it doesn't get red and it doesn't get infected, you know, I'll just take it easy with it. Don't, don't go try to do push-ups. Don't got trying to get that muscle up or anything like that, which I don't have any anyway, because they all went away when I became a skinny boy. So that's what we talk about. Let's talk about some open boxing. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Let's talk about some other stuff. Let's talk about. My last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven purchases. I wasn't going to do the last ten, but that's okay. The two I'm not going to worry about doing is Mobasa, Mobasin, the, uh, uh, whatever it is. It's all right. It was a $20 buy. You know, but it's not bad, but I haven't really got into it yet. And the Feeve Tonka, Feeve Tonka by Fragnard. I can leave that out too. That's pretty cool, but... It can't go up against this juice right here. So, really, I bought, I picked up a lot of juice, you know, over over the last month or two. But these are the only ones I want to talk about. And whatever is over there, and you know it's over. You know, oh, you know it's over there. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Now, I'm, since I can never look at the camera, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this like I'm talking to somebody else. Yeah. So what what I want to do is I want to do this video. To make this look like I'm talking to somebody else like an interview. But you can't ask me any questions. I'm going to do all the talking. You just sit there and dictate. So we're going to do it because I just can't keep my eye on the camera right there. I'm too busy doing like this. Looking at myself. I need to maybe pitch it. So even though I'm looking at here. Oh, there you go. That might work. If I got my glass on, it does like I'm looking at y'all, right? Actually, I should be looking right there. But I'm not looking right there. I'm looking right there. See what I'm saying? So I'm kind of right there because it's right there. Enough of that, enough of that. Let's get it started, let's get it kicking. Should I rank these from seven to zero to one? My favorite pickups? Let's do it. Starting at number seven. Starting at number seven. I know what y'all gonna say, ah, uh, no way, man. Number seven? Out of one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, I mean eight. Well, actually seven and eight are really the same, but we'll just do it just saying like we got eight. And the nine, ten is in the bag, and I'll incorporate those within the, within the system afterwards. I'm going to slot them. I'm going to slot them because they're not out the bag yet. I'm going to slot them. Put them in the slot where they could be if, if I move that out the way. Slot it. And that'll give me ten. Bam, let's go. Number ten. And I'm gonna tell you, number nine and ten is not in this bag, so I have to worry about slotting it. Number ten is gonna be Hermes Vetiver. And that's a lot to say. This being number ten, I must tell you, I think I got some strong juice in front of this. I must have some strong juice in front of this. If Vetiver, Bellamy Vetiver, it, come on now. Come on now. Y'all got stuff all over my mixer. All kinds of juice in my mixer, man. Since I stopped doing the CD, I don't even take the, the, the equipment back here anymore. Just, I, once again, it's back to being an orphan. I don't even come back here no more. All right, so anyway, let's check it out. We're going to do this How to Boy 100 bars, four stars, about the, the juice and the sauce. All right, Bellamy Vetiver by Hermes. I bought this because it smells better than just the regular Bell and Me. And the vetiver is just so awesome. It's smoky. It just gives like a smoky, it's just, 
Okay, okay, okay. See, see, I like when I do that because then it reminds me of something that I should say. It reminds me of Vetiver 46 from the Labo. That little stanky Vetiver in the beginning of that, it smells like a barbecue pit. That's what just kind of reminds me when I put the nozzle on the nose. That's what this reminds me of, Vetiver 46. But they're two totally different animals. So you're supposed to shake the juice up from time to time. Two totally different animals. Vetiver 46 breaks off into a vanilla type thing at the end. Bellamy doesn't. Pretty much Bellamy stays kind of kind of linear to tell you the truth. For me, it stays linear. So, boom, bam, bam, boom. And uh, yeah, I will go with that. It's insanely good, like, like Homeboy said right there. Everybody likes it. No doubt about it. And, you know, John Claude JCE is not giving up any information on the news, but we know it's Vetiver. There's some spices, possibly a little bit of black pepper, just to make it smoky. Possibly a little bit of incense to give it more of a smoky vibe. Not myrrh, myrrh is different. Maybe a little bit of incense. Definitely vetiver. Definitely smell like vetiver 46 by the Labo, but the dry down is, for this, this is almost like linear all the way through, where the dry down for vetiver 46 for the Labo is a sweet vanilla type deal. Number 10. Bellamy Vetiver. Number nine. All right. There is one in the bag that can possibly be number nine. There's one in the bag that can be possibly number nine, so let me look over here and see. Yes. Yes, the one in the bag is number nine. We'll bring it out and I'll tell you which one that is. The one in the bag is number nine. What's the title of this video? Top 10 favorites that I just bought out of the 20 that I think I picked up. Okay, top 10. Nine is in the bag. Number eight. It's Oris. Sweet Oris. Sweet, sweet. Smell like banana and coconut. Let's look it up. Y'all ain't doing nothing. You should be looking it up as I'm looking it up. If y'all, man, if y'all paying attention, y'all would look it up as I look it up. Because I might not even know what I'm talking about. It's almost like listening to a preacher in church. Just because he preaching to you and saying, you got to go home and look that up. Well, look it up right there while you're in church and say, I object. I, that ain't what I'm hearing. You know what I mean? Same thing with me. I object. You saying this, you should be looking this up also. There's some other things you're doing. Somebody at the job. Well, you should do your job this way. Hold up. No, no, no. Let me look into the manual. You know what I mean? So I like that. I don't just want to stick with church and me. Let's talk about the workplace. There's a lot of things you can do. Hillary, Hillary, hold up. No, 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 wait. Let's look into it. Uh, Donald Trump, hey, let's wait. You got, sometimes you got to do your own investigation. Or let's do your own investigation. But I'm going to tell you, it's fruity. It's my bananas and coconut. What does it have in it? Sweet, fruity, powdery, balsamic, floral, and you know what I mean? Peach. Vanilla, plum, honey, tonka, hazelnut. Look like grapes, cedarwood, like saffron, sandalwood, orange flower. This is a nice piece, but it doesn't last long enough. It doesn't last long enough, and the skin sits like after. I don't know. The skin sits after a while. It doesn't stay long. It doesn't project long. But if you're doing cuddly cuddly, get you some of this juice right here. Now, just get you. Now it's not a noir. I like noir better. I like noir better. But I didn't just buy noir. I bought that a while ago. I bought that last year. This right here is better. This right here. This right here is better. In the sense that it's nice and sweet with the plum and all this stuff, but Noor is more exotic. Noor, like I said, if you look it up, Stephen Humbert did, did all these, and Noor is just like Soul De Jetta from his new line. If you look at the notes and, and you see somebody compare, it smells just like Soul De Jetta. But this right here, this right here, skin scent, but if you're getting cozy, get out the shower, you know it's getting ready to go down. Play it on spray a little bit. 
so she can smell that sweetness, that plum. Holla at your boy. Number eight, Oris by Saul. Number seven. I know what y'all gonna say, no way. No way, yes way, Amber Nuit. Now, let me tell you why Amber Nuit is number seven. It is nowhere close to number one. Because it's a good sauce. Again, I said this morning on my Facebook page, if it wasn't for the pepper, I would have probably just returned it. But I would already smelled this, so I can't justify sending it back like Cool Intentions. But Cool Intentions, my money got weak, because I wanted this. I wanted to buy both of these when I was in the store, but you know the thing about when you're buying something, and I was with that SA, and she was like the Killian rep, and I was like, okay, give me the cool intentions. But then I was like, oh, you got Christian Dior over here? I wanted to say, well, now nah, I don't want the Christian. I don't want the cool intentions. I'd rather take another one of these, but I couldn't say it. I got weak. I should have said, nah, I'll put the cool intentions back. But the, the young lady who was doing Bernie, who was doing the, the that means it would have took a sale out of her pocket. Now, essentially because she sold me this, and Bernie sold me the other one, I can send back the Cool Intentions, and she'll get credit for this one, and the Cool Intentions just go as a, as a naught for art bars. And I like Cool Intentions, but I have some. I was just buying that for a resupply, but I really have it. And like I said, I don't want my money acting funny. These two are fine for my new sax account. If I was up to me, I would buy four of them. But no, I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna keep my sax count open just in case something special open up. Alright? I'm gonna do wheat because of the pink pepper, I like it. But I'm gonna do wheat does not last long to me. I'm sorry. I had it on a day. And the thing about it is, after I, because you know I'm testing, I was testing Grand Soir. Man, once I put Grand Soir on, it just blew New Eat out. Like, like I never even had it on. It's like I never even had it on, it, was, it just couldn't hang. And it's soft and spicy, it's a soft piece. And if you look at what people are saying about it, let's see what they're saying about it. Some people say it's long lasting, very long lasting, not so much. Um, the amber, the bergamot, the lemon, you know, and then you got the pink pepper and the rose. And it's not, I'm telling you, I'm good with it. Don't like I'm not good with it. I am good with it. It almost smells like something else though. that I have in the cage. But I can't remember. So right now, unfortunately, it didn't make the top five, but it did make the top 10. I'm a new eat. And that's actually the top 10 of what I just bought. I don't think it'll be the top 10 of what's in my cage, but it is the top 10 of what I just bought. I'm a new eat because it's too soft. It's a good sniff. Pink pepper is the key, but for real, for real, eh, it's a little too soft. Number six. Number six. Man, this is hard, man. This is hard. What I do? Hold on, hold on. Man, this is tough. This is tough. Okay, nine is in the bag. Number six. Wow. Wow. Ah. Oh, man. But I had to go with Ilham. But Ilham, in this strength, I mean, man, let me tell you, Ilham, off the chain, almost now, now, here goes another sweet thing. I think I'm just, I just went gourmand crazy, except for the, the vetiver, and I've been eating, not really a gourmand. But I kind of went gourmand, ridiculously crazy. So let's look at Saul Ilham, YouTube. Whenever you see my video start, just go get for Granica, please. Sweet, caramel, fruity, balsamic, warm, spicy, and vanilla. And of course, everybody loves it. Ah, let's go. Caramel, vanilla, look like uh, some kind of berries. Peach, a poppinex, look like some uh, saffron. Ooh, like some pink pepper patchouli. Leather, look like eucalyptus, eucalyptus, eucalyptus. I know what it says. Labdanum and some other stuff. It's just good. It's just good. And because what's called is kind of like 
I want to feel like something was on my neck just now. All right, because I would have bought Visa out. Visa would be more like this. Visa's more like this and like Oris. But Visa got a cut to it too by Robert Piquet. It has a cut to it too. I should have bought it out. I should have bought that out too. It would be within the top five though. This is number six. But we're not counting because I didn't bring it out. But I should have bought it out. If I bought it, I had to slide everything down, it would be numbers. I don't know. Ilham Nectar. Now that's a little bit better. Stronger, of course. Stronger sauce. Still the same thing, but stronger sauce. I would couple them together and make them all like. There would be number six, both of them together, but I decided to split it up because I didn't have another 10. But if I was to bring, if I now if I was to bring Robert Piquet's Visa in here, then we can make this, these two just number six. You feel me? We can make these two just number six. So y'all wanna do that? Okay. So we'll make these two just number six. All right? So, 10, right? Nine is in the bag. Eight is Oris because it's not strong enough. Seven, I'm in the Six, both of these, both strengths. Because I would spray this one first and I'll spray a little bit of this one. Six. Okay. So, yeah, it makes it right. And number nine, again, is still in the bag. Number five, hard to say it, hard to do it, hard to think about this, cause this is crazy. Ah, hold on a second, I'll be right back. Okay, 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 okay. Number five, Feed Delicious. Why? Because dealing with Oddfellows Bouquet, which is a stronger type juice, Feed is okay. Feed is good to go. Y'all not like Feed. But when it comes to messing with, when it comes to messing with Oddfellows Bouquet, When it comes to mess with Oddfellows Bouquet, this they man, it, it can't hang. Oddfellows Bouquet, I think it's because of the. Did see? I think all right. Oddfellows Bouquet. I okay, no, no. Let's talk about Feeve. Feeve has the Tonka. Oddfellows Bouquet, I don't think has Tonka, but Feeve also has the Kakaya, which is cool, but and it has the lavender. Even though the lavender doesn't, is really complex within this mixture, when you first open up feed, you can smell the lavender, but then later on the lavender, actually when it starts to dry down, the lavender starts really coming up a little bit more. Whereas our fellow's bouquet, it is, it's not linear, but it has leather in it. And so does, so does feed. Is this a redundant purchase? Did I actually make a redundant purchase? Not at all. More leather. Mo leather. I don't even really smell the leather and feed like that. It must be like a blend with this leather and the sandalwood. It must be like a blending type thing. But when it comes to the actual Yamin leather, I felt it was okay. You, you can smell this leather. You can smell this leather. So again, number five, it did make number five out of all the ones that I just bought. Feed delicious. Many uses for the for the feed delicious uses. But it's number five. It didn't crack. Well, it cracked the top five. Number four. Well, obviously. Well, obviously. It's in the bag. Number four is actually in the bag with number nine, okay? So number four and number nine is in the bag. It says move on. Four. Oh, I done messed up. I messed up, man. Cause I need one more. Oh, and okay, it's because Robert Piquet is not out here. Robert Piquet is out here. So actually, 
Thank you, Fee Delicious is number three. No. Fee Delicious is number four. Right. Number three is in the bag. So number three and number nine is in the bag. Fee Delicious is actually number. Alright. Start it over, man. Start it over again. Alright, you ready? With Rob, Robert Piquet is out here, but remember Robert Piquet is out here, we're just gonna pretend. We're gonna say, I'm not going back and get it, don't have time for that. This is Robert Piquet's stuff, okay? Stuff. Visa. Number 10, Bella Me by Hermes. Number nine is in the bag. Number eight, Oris by So Ooh. Number seven, Ombre Nui. Number seven, Ombre Nui. Number six, Ilham. Ilham, number six. Number five, Robert Piquet's Visa. Number five, Peach. Lovely peach in that thing, man. The peach is so strong. And the plum in there, too. Almost like these. Peach and plum. Almost. But not close. Different blend. This is a candle, man. It's called Bliss. But it's actually Robert Piquet's Visa. What, what is it? Number six? Right? Number five. Number five is Robert Piquet. Number four... Number four is Fieve Delicious. Fieve Delicious. Number four is Fieve Delicious. Number three. Number three. Number three. Believe it or not, it's in the bag. Number three is in the bag. That leaves number two and number one up here. Number two and number one up here. Between replica by the fireplace and Atkinson's Odd Fellow Bouquet. Both of these got so many compliments from men and women, and I think that's why I'm going with this. Yes, I haven't really worn the other ones as much. That's why they're not up the list. Too bad, that's the way it go. I'm doing the list tonight. I'm not waiting the ladies to do the list. Too bad, whatever's on the list tonight is what it is. If anything happened with an update for those, I'll let you know. I mean, Oris was, not Oris, Ilham was cool. I let the, I let the timekeeper smell Ilham. She liked Ilham, so that was good. And she liked the uh, Oris as well. But she, has, she hasn't smelled uh, Feeb or Ombre yet. These two compliment getters, man. Automatic. So do I go with by the fireplace with the roasted chestnuts? The longevity is very, very good. Well, do I go with the leather and I fellow's bouquet? All right, before we do that, let's open the box. There we go, keep you in suspense. We're gonna bring out number nine first. Number nine. And we're gonna do something in the middle, bring it out number nine. We're gonna talk about some other stuff too. So we're extending this a little bit longer, along with some sniffs. This is a, uh, I heard uh, uh, Maximilian, Maximilian had a little rant, man. I ran into one of his rants about people telling him he should show his face and all this stuff and they start calling him all kinds of crap. Man, believe me, I know, I know Max, I know. You know, you probably don't look at my video. This is Jordan, I meet for a lot of time, there's something about Creed. And it's not bad. In fact, since it start drying down, the smell is even better. I leave our mouth, I leave our nana, I leave. Whatever that is. I went to Sephora, and I smelled a couple pieces from there, yo. And I'll bring those out. Should I bring them out right now? Yeah, let's bring them out right now. Well, actually, no. These two pieces are... I don't know what two pieces are. I think they are... Um... No. These are two, they have Nordstrom on them? Yeah, these Nordstrom pieces, so this, 
two are spray from Nordstrom. Maybe Cafe Road and Tobacco Oud. I think. Cafe Road and Tobacco Oud. I need it. I need a little bit more to finish up my five mils. So Cafe Rolls, this one making me think Cafe Rolls because it's kind of tinted with the pink. And um, this is definitely the color of Tobacco Ooze. So I'm gonna think that's what these two are. Cafe Rolls, I'm trying to check it out. You know, first I didn't like it. I'm like, oh, well, Cafe and I always try to comp compare it to Intense Cafe, which is two totally different use, two totally different pieces. But I just wanted to because I'm like, Cafe Rolls ain't nothing compared to the Intense Cafe. Alright, now. I know it's gonna be 33 minutes and 10 seconds. No, no, don't act like I'm. Alright. Sis Sapper from Sephora. Man, let me tell you about these y'all means right here. Right here. These are next year. I'm done buying. Unless something really, really comes up. Nest. White sandalwood, man. This thing. It's pretty doggone good, man. This is pretty good. It's um, it's white sandalwood. Something and something, man. This is not bad, man. Check out the nest line. I think uh, Maximilian, because I was just watching Maximilian videos today for some reason, and he pretty he talked about something he used from Nest. Man, they got this white sandalwood now. It's a little high, if you ask me. It's sixty-five bucks, and you can buy a roll-on for twenty-five or something like that. Or this is 95 and you're about to roll on for 65. I forgot what it is. But nevertheless, man, this thing is pretty doggone nice. Look it up. Nest White Sandalwood. Look it up, man. Derek Lamb's Blackout. Which is not bad. It's not super killer dealer like Nest is. It's alright. It's alright. Spin on my leg. It's alright. And it says the best from the line. So look it up. Blackout. By Derek Lamb, you know he got some nice little bottles and whatever, and he's supposed to be copying what he think New York streets or whatever smell like, whatever, or Crosby Street. Yeah, but this this white sandalwood is pretty doggone good by Ness. So check that out. And then Commodity, uh, uh, the name of the company is called Commodity, and this is called Book. Man, I smell them like man, this Book thing. They had another one. That was like I thought I would like because the notes were a lot better. This right here got some some old crazy notes in it, man. I ain't, I ain't think I would like it. And then when she sprayed, I'm like, man, this is not bad. This is not bad at all, man. So check these three out. Book by Commodity, Audis and Sephora. Uh, Blackout by Derek Lamb. And definitely Ness White Sandalwood, man. Check it out. That's my sampler. She made up for me. Ali, Ali, A L L I E, Ellen, Eli, Ellie. I'm sorry, because I told her to watch this video. If I messed up your name, sweetheart, I am so sorry. And the other young lady who came up after you, man, I'm sorry if I messed up your name, but at the Sephora, the King of Prussia, upstairs, she has green hair. Very nice. And the other young lady who came up, she's, man, I like. Thank you for the samples. I gotta hurry up. I gotta hurry up. Some other stuff I smell. Creed, I got a sample of the Creed, Ladies Creed, uh, uh, Aventus, pretty cool, pretty good. And she gave me another one, she gave me two. Yeah, she gave me two, so I'm making five mil out of this. Ladies of Venice, she gave me two. You be showing me love, you be showing me love. This is your mouthy, what you call my spray on the aqua, who is it? No, this would be it. All right, this is the ladies, uh, 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 this is the ladies, I mean, of Venice, okay? Smell a little vinegary. I forgot what this is. Plurel? This is Plurel by, by Fresh Street John. All right, let's go. Let's crack out number three. We got four minutes. Number three, Joe Malone, Black Cedarwood, and Juniper. Smells gorgeous. Doesn't last long, but that's okay. Smells gorgeous. We had white cedar wood, then we have black cedar wood, and the juniper berry what kicks us off. I smelled this, I, I bought this, took it back, what? Because I was trying to get my money right. Black cedar wood, thank you very much for Nordstrom's. I forgot her name. She the one that gave me my samples for the, the cafe and the tobacco ooze, so thank you. 
I forgot your name, and I shout to Jody and King of Precious Nordstrom. All right? Thank you very much. Black Cedar Wood, because it doesn't last long, but it's a great sniff. Had to have it. I'm going to buy the big bottle, though. Small bottle's enough for that. All right? And number three. Or number four. Number three. Some more time for it. Yep, Cafe Ruin Tobacco Ruin. All right. Open boxing. Grand Soir. I can, I can do a review on this because I've been wearing it forever. And Grand Soir is this crazy, animalic, vanilla, amber, green. I'm, I'm under the impression this is amber green because it smells a little like, like it has cumin in it. Now, there's no notes up on this. There's no for granted information on it uh, except for what's on the back of the bottle, I think. And that was... um. I forgot what I got that, that, that showed the notes on the back of the bottle. But here it is, Francis Kirk John. Today is the official release of this. Today, so those who got it beforehand, 215 bucks, tax came to two something, whatever. And uh, yeah, man, this thing is, is awesome. I smelled it all day, and it's still on me, smelling good. Amber, man, I never bought one of these before. I don't even know how to open a bottle. I'm gonna open the box. I'm gonna open it real quick. Show it to you. Number three. And then we're gonna reveal number two and number one over here. But right now, here another box. It comes out of the box. Box come out the box. Here we go. Take the bag out. You get your Yamin with it. Details. And here it is. Finally. Grand Soir. Number three of the top ten I bought. Number three. Grand Soir. Now, let's get to number two and number one. Let's go either by the fireplace with the roasted chestnuts or the leather and the sweet vanilla. Yeah, I mean, with this. Bada bing, bada boom. I gotta go with it. Number two, I fellow's bouquet. Lovely leather right off the top. Doesn't have to wait till it fade down. Got that creamy smell. And number one, man, roasted chestnuts. I would never have thought this would be number one. I had no intention of even buying this when I went to Sephora and, and my man, uh, I forgot my man's name, in, in, in Cherry Hill. I, I just went in and sniffed like I did today. Maybe to get some of these, check out some stuff. He let me sniff this and it was over. Overdone out of everything I bought I, since I've been gone and went down Virginia and came back. Number one, bought it here in Cherry Hill, my man, replicas by the fireplace. Number one, that's it, I'm done. Open boxing for the Grand Soir. Counting down, check out a lot later. Thank you very much. Review coming, you already got it. Buy it, ain't no review, I'm out.